Ce style holding, où le canot est à nid longé. Flitte soit wish. Il est mieux l'art, il est halbé d'une. All right, doing the update for you for this week, and I did get the expect and move on XRP that I was looking for. It's currently sitting just under 60 cents. And let's review where we can go. Um, first off, as a technical trade, I'm going to show you why I'm not really interested in selling where I normally would be, right here at around 60 for 65 cents. Um, that would be your buy down here at 37, your sell up here at around 64 and above, and giving you about, uh, what, 68% return, which is very good. Um, that would be an area, if you wanted just a short-term trade to anything at or above that number as an exit point. If you wanted just a short-term trade and you want to use your money for other things. Uh, I myself uh, don't want that. I've held this one and I waited through the drama and I want to get paid. And when I say I want to get paid, I mean I want to get paid. Um, I believe the SEC case against uh, XRP is a joke. Uh, certain things have confirmed that I'm right on this. And uh, we're likely going to get an explosion well above these numbers here in this contained area. So this little box area right here, I don't think it's going to last. I think that this is going to go away. And that we're going to break out above and then make our way all the way to my promised land of two dollars <laughs> uh, but anything above one here uh, in my opinion would be a good exit point for half for just 50 percent where you have a no risk trade because you made over double of uh, what you initially invested in that's how I trade so again I'm not a financial advisor I don't tell people what to do with their money I just show you what I do and uh, then from there, you can make a good educated opinion and hopefully, you know, um, uh, educate yourself on to what happens most often. That's what I'm interested in. I can't predict the future. Everyone thinks that I'm, I'm able to predict the future and so forth. No, I'm just going off the statistics of what I have seen happen again and again. And uh, my experience and um, good habits, uh, you know, being my mind being wired correctly for trading has benefited me and that's basically it it's not anything else but let's get back to that so you see what I'm looking for I want to get numbers above this I want to see them towards the two dollar range and uh, it's logical it makes sense and I think we'll get there in, in a timely manner um, we've already started to move you can see where we are right now. We're around 58, 6 in this whole area right here this morning, which is great. Um, again, let's go back to Bitcoin here. So you know my view on XRP. I'm overweight in an XRP, and I'm looking for the moon. End of story. Uh, now, Bitcoin. What's going on with Bitcoin? Bitcoin is just uh, going sideways, really, more than anything. It goes up, but the ticks again are positive. I've noticed this again, it's repeating itself. The ticks are positive. So you have a lot more positive resonance in this. I don't know how long it's gonna go here. I think it could go all the way back down here. And, uh, but I don't think it's going to really matter. It just seems like every time I look, uh, you get bigger buy orders. And if supply really diminishes to any real degree, uh, an upward spike, can come out of nowhere and you know become exacerbated 
and it's just tracking along with this trend line ultimately um, is what I'm seeing. So as we go out into the summer months, uh, we could see numbers that extend upward by a decent amount and um, we'll see. But that's all it's doing, it's just tracking along, going sideways up, sideways up, and then we'll see if we make new highs. That would be indicative, uh, you know, so we could pull back. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really here to note of interest. Um, you guys, uh, let's go back to my Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Oh, where? I've got so many symbols on here, don't I? All right, we go up to Volkswagen. As you know, earlier last week, um, Volkswagen hit my 50% target. So it exited half right there. Um, at 357, I believe that was exact. And it went a little bit above that. I think it went up to what? What was the high on that? Let me see. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, a little over 360, let's say. Uh, and, um, you know, where would it go from here? Well, I, I'm going to look for continuation higher. I like the story. Again, you know, this is my hedge against my Tesla short. Um, it's already produced a hundred percent return from where, you know, um, I was buying it and I've been in this for a while actually. And, um, uh, I, this breakout right here was its primary to here to the three fifties, the upper three fifties. Boom. That happened. So, uh, 50% is out and, uh, Great trade. Uh, again, this is a hedge against my uh, Tesla short, which you guys know that I've had that forever. And um, yeah, it's in the world's most overvalued car company. Um, so let's go take a look at that. I can't get my symbols today. My brain is turned to mud. Um, but that's where we are with Tesla. Tesla pre-market is a little bit up. They've got, you know, but again, I, I don't really care. They could go all the way back up to here, fill that gap, and then continue on down is what I'm looking for. Ultimately, I want to see it under the 400 and the under 380, actually. And um, that's what I'm holding for. And at some point, there will be some news or something come to the effect to give us, um, you know, we'll see. Um, and that is my belief. Again, it's a hedge trade, um, so I'm not so worried about it. Uh, it's my one, you know, in case the market tanks, the one that's going to really get clobbered is likely Tesla uh, because people are, there are too many people in it, and it's just not, it's too overvalued, simply put. All right, other than that, let's take a look at Wing. Wing is the one from Bryce, and it's looking pretty good. Um, again, I have nothing to do on this one except for I'm not really, it's not a big trade for me, but I like the, you know, I, I want to go for 80. I want to see it get above there, and from that low 30s, it's a great trade. So hats off to Bryce again, we're just holding, and that's all I'm doing. I've got a clear target, and what are you going to do? Uh, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to hold. Of course, I would not buy it above 40. I told people. They asked me. Uh, 40 Under 40 is where you really want to, honestly, in the low 30s. Um, but if you miss the entry on it for a risk-reward wise, 100% return, if it goes above here, you want to be under 40. Yeah, it's simple logic. Um, so that's what I would go off of there. Uh, we also have LTC versus Bitcoin. This one is dropped down, but I'm expecting it to rebound. We'll see. And ultimately, I want to get numbers that go all the way back up here. Again, this is not one that's going to do it in a timely basis. 
uh, it's going to do it when it wants to do it, and when Litecoin catches air and starts to, you know, get that auction and, and get a burn to the upside, then we'll see it. But uh, it's going through what it's going through right now, and there's no, you know, um, I'm just dollar cost averaging. I think it's a good buy from under 0 0.38, uh, 0038. And all the way down here, da -da 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 -da, and I'll buy it all the way down to 30 cents. That'll be my last entry point. And then I'll target this all the way back up here later on in the year. And we'll see what we get from that. I, I like the trade. And other than that, what what else is out there that's interesting? Um, not really much. Um, so that's my overall. Um, for the week, mostly, honestly, this week is my XRP week. Uh, it's my biggest holding, biggest trade outside of BTC. Uh, that's my the one that I want to see uh, the explosion upward. I just know it's a matter of time. And again, short term, if you just want that short term trade, that's your area right there above 0.64 and higher. But no, I see two, I see two dollars, I see it in my mind. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Alrighty, bye.